Okay, so right now, what I'm going to do next is basically uh, do a color run test with the uh, bow. So as you know, um, as you can see, this is a piece of uh, almost white cloth. Um, the stain is there so that you know that I didn't change the cloth overnight. Uh, what I'm going to do is um, put it in together with the uh, bow. Right. Dripping wet. And uh, you'll come and see it. Tomorrow morning. We are back one day later and uh, the uh, Goran boat has been officially in the water for the past good 24 hours. So, um, color run, we are testing for it and uh, looks like there's no so called color run from the fabric. And uh, it's a good thing, but the shoe felt way, way, way heavier. Let's move, sorry, because I've uh, immersed it in the, in, in the water overnight. And uh, let's see how long you will take for it to for it to dry out. So, time now is about 12.05. Uh, we'll check back again, maybe about 3-4 hours later. All right. Um, hi. It's about 5.15 right now in the afternoon. So the um, Go Run boat has been under the sun for a good perhaps about 3 hours plus to 4 hours. So it's uh, completely dry. So the uh, initial worry that the uh, fit knit material will uh, discolor or um, what do you call that? The, 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 the color of fit is not entirely true. So this is after four, 24 hours of uh, immersion in water. So there wasn't any color run. The shoelace also, uh, there wasn't any indication that the color will run. So not too bad, All right? So that concludes the uh, the whole series of the uh, sketcher. Go.